this week we are taking our floating home down Cane Hill Flight. A huge flight of logs located on the westerly end of the Kennet and Avon Canal in the south of England. We have been living on this waterway for almost a year and now is the time to take our narrowboat down a staircase of 29 blocks to join us as we experience this incredible feat of engineering firsthand. Let's go! Good morning. Hello. Getting ready for a big day ahead here. We slept right next to the Black Horse pub. It was quite an experience, I'd say. What do you think, Josh? It was bloody brilliant. And so now we're getting ready to do a big load of locks. We are almost at the beginning of Cane Hill flight. I think we've got like three locks to do before then, three or four, give or take. And then we have all of Cane Hill flight to do, and then maybe some more locks. What do you think? Yeah, I think this morning when we were laying in bed, we were checking the... Ah, here it is. Speak of the devil. We were looking at this and 25 locks we're going to do today. That's where we're hoping to get to because we found a really good parking spot to be able to have the van very close by. So 25 locks is the aim. It's already almost 10 o'clock. So we've done our engine checks already, got our shoes on and I think we're ready to rock. So yeah. if you want to join us for the adventure, stick around. Let's tackle Cane Hill Flight. Woo! Also, we've never been in a place so close to our van. Look at this. It's a shame we don't actually need it. <laughs> Ye old faithful always starts, to be fair. She always starts. You're gonna set the lock? I'm setting the lock. Okay. Give lock. me a little holler when you're ready for me. I will. I love you, bye. Love you, bye. Right, I'm at lock number one. I've checked that no one is coming the opposite direction. The lock is empty, so I have to fill it. Here's to a long day of excitement ahead. Woo! Let's do this. I'm gonna try and save a little bit of time because we've got 25 locks to do. Me and Ulla are gonna try and practice just opening one of the gates. That way it'll save us a little bit more time. There she is. I gotta run all the way back. Ola's doing all the hard work. <laughs> all right. One of 25 down. Let's go. That was a tight squeeze. Design Josh for the next lock. And there he is. I just moored up because the next lock needs setting, so I'm gonna go give Ola a help now. great doing this because you meet so many interesting people who are just standing there watching and want to have a chat and uh, had some really good chats and it's only our second lock
Lock number two, complete. I didn't film any of that. So many people love chatting to you when you're going through the locks. When you tell them that this is like your fifth lock in your entire life, they're like, bloody hell. You're like, yeah, I know. I'm trying to concentrate. <laughs> Look at that, just before I get there, Josh is already inside the lock and there are two people helping him. So this might actually be pretty easy today. Let's not speak too soon because uh, this might just be a super lucky moment. There he is, chatting to some blokes. Little did we know that these blokes would turn out to be the loveliest of holiday makers. Let me introduce you to Dennis, Paul, John and Des. <laughs> We decided to buddy up in the effort to save water and of course to save our arms and legs. We ended up spending most of the day together, opening many, many, many locks, drinking wine and being merry. We're gonna have some buddies going down the locks. It's a long way down. <laughs> you can see yourself on TV now. Thank you. <laughs> there we go, look. A few locks down. A beautiful cafe. It's actually really great having all these guys with us. One because they're really, really lovely people, but then also because they've got four of them in, in their crew, and it means that we're just cruising through these locks, which is amazing. I don't know how soon we're going to get through, but it's probably halving the amount of time for us because they just keep walking forward and setting the locks. So it's going pretty well. Right. I think it's time that we pick up the pace. So it's 20 to 1 now and I would estimate we're about halfway. I've completely lost count of how many we've done so far. <laughs> At this point we'll just see how we go but we've decided once we get to the end of the flight we're gonna pull over and get something to eat and then keep going. <laughs> I think halfway down me and Paul have finally managed to nail it. Getting into the locks, slipping in without banging. We're doing all right. Yeah, that's, how you do it. Nice. that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Hola. Te gustaría una taza de té? Sí, por favor. <laughs> Often during a cruise along the waterways, Josh and I like to use the opportunity to learn something new. And at the moment, we're learning Spanish. Hervire al agua? Sí. Okay. <laughs> Josh and I absolutely love to travel, so learning another new language is something we've both wanted to do for a really long time. ¿Quieres azúcar? No gracias, no tomo azúcar. We plan to travel to Central America in the near future and to immerse ourselves in the culture as much as possible. And to do that, we need to... Aprende a hablar español. Esto es para ti, mi amor. Gracias, mi corazón. De nada. We have chosen to learn Spanish with Rosetta Stone, which is a language learning platform available on tablet, mobile and desktop. We've actually found learning a new language really enjoyable with Rosetta Stone because it is interactive and engaging. They create lessons which are tailored towards your language goals. Mmm, es delicioso. Ooh, y caliente. 
The platform also gives you immediate feedback on your pronunciation, which has been an absolute game changer in my learning. Rosetta Stone are offering our lovely subscribers up to 50% off all of their subscriptions, including their lifetime subscription. Which means you'll have access to all 24 languages that they offer for life. So you can learn multiple languages over a lifetime at your own pace. You can grab this special offer today by clicking the link in the description below. This is really bizarre being inside the boat while we're going down. Look out my window. <laughs> Amazing. Look at the front. Oh. Quite bizarre actually being inside a lock and inside the boat when you see out the windows and this is this is what you see. There we go, look, we've just been told by the CRT volunteer the lot we've just done there, we're halfway through. Genuinely thought we were nearly finished. Fair play, Willa. You're doing a lot of work there. And it's not that I didn't want to, by the way. I've offered many times. I think both sides come with their tricky parts, don't they? Navigating a boat in a small spot and uh, doing the locks correctly. So together we're a good team. We'll get it smashed out. Just been told that there's a swan in the next lock. Hopefully, we can encourage it out. Or it might be a case of it freaking out whilst these boats are approaching and then it will jump out. But it, oh, it's a grown up signet, it's very beautiful. Hello, I think you need to come out. Come on, follow me this way. Come on. Dennis has a plan with the swan food. Dennis always has a plan. He's a man. <laughs> Not this way, this way. Come on, this way. Good swan. <laughs> Having fun, Dennis. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> Swan, don't go in the lock. Oh dear. Well, that was quite an experience. What a weird moment. I didn't capture any of that on film because we were all a bit panicked. Basically, these two white swans, Basically, they were trying to drown it. Like literally, one of the white, white swans was on top of the swan trying to drown it. It was really quite harrowing. Um, but Jean, the amazing volunteer that's been helping us today from CRT, she literally pulled the signet out of the water. I've never seen anything quite like it. She just fought on her feet and got it out. And now she's been herding it into a different, into a different area. So well done, Jean, my goodness. And Ooh, now back onto the locks. Come on, buddy, get out of here. That poor swan. Those bullies, big bullies. Almost there now. You see that little white house in the distance here. That is the end of the flight, so quite a few left to go. And then it was wine time to celebrate our last few locks together. The 
Jones has got the right idea. Keep up, John. Keep up. <laughs> They're the best. They're the best. It's so brilliant. Oh, Cheers! No. I'm trapped on board with the Sauvignon Blanc. <laughs> <laughs> Pulling us in. Oh yeah. And just like that, we completed Cane Hill flight. Oh, yeah. And it was actually so much fun. A freaking breeze. Seriously, Paul, Des, John, Dennis, your legends. Thank we you really so hope, much for your we help. We really hope you're seeing this because we love you. And the beers. Uh, and the wine. And the wine. It's been a pleasure. And, and the morale. Um, lots, of, lots of fun, lots of laughs. It's been a good day. It's not over yet. <laughs> More up, have some lunch. Oh, look at it go. She knows. <laughs> this girl's done cane hill flight. Can you tell? She knows. Professional. There we go. That'll sort us for lunchtime. I don't know how much we said this already, but we've had the most wonderful day. We've just spent the afternoon chilling at the boat with all those lovely guys. Seriously, it's been the perfect. It's match, been the best honestly. day, and we are so privileged and so so pleased that we met okay. such a gorgeous bunch of people. Thank Legend, you for... and we might have the opportunity to meet up with them again yeah, soon. Yeah, we're, we're coming for you, so yeah, don't forget us big fan of that. So we've got to move through another eight locks now before we settle down for the evening. It's wish us luck! <laughs> the last one with Dennis. Oh, oh no! Oh, he's so sad! <laughs> Now it's my turn to take control of the boat. Sun, look at that, beautiful. Well, it's just moored up. I'm gonna jump on board with her. I think, to be fair, there's like two locks left, and then we'll moor up for the night and get some dinner. We are almost there. Last lock of the day. It's been a long, long day. We've just been chatting to a lovely man called Peter. Hello, Peter, because you watch our videos. How you doing? <laughs> lovely talking to you. We're just about to pull off now. Josh has just gone down to set the lock. One more lock and then we can moor up and then start the long walk back up Cane Hill to collect the van. <sighs>
exciting times ahead. We need to find a mooring pretty quickly because it's going to get dark very soon. <laughs> if we don't find a mooring here... Then we've got to do another lock. <laughs> really? I think so. Hello. How are you doing? There he hey! is! Nice! He <laughs> recognises us from there on the yeah. YouTube. That's all the pictures, yeah. Bloody brilliant! There you are. How are you doing, alright? Yeah, good. Yeah, we're working on the next video now. <laughs> See you later, buddy. What a cool boat! The Ebony Pearl. The Ebony Pearl. That looks like a right beast of a boat to live in. Very nice to meet you guys briefly. Yeah, that Thank you all so much for watching this week's video. It feels so brilliant to be back on the waterways with you all. And a huge thank you to everybody who bought us a coffee this week. It means so, so, so much to us. Lots of love. Are you finished? Because <laughs> it is in. <laughs> all right. Mmm, it's delicioso. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, y caliente. Ooh, me gustaría te dar una taza.